Oh, hi dear Leo. A very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a journal of reading for all the Leo Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from 11 till the 17th of December and this is valid for every 12 sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign. So let's start. Your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment. Let's see Leo. We have the fool card. So it's like somebody is feeling like uh, going solo or they are feeling like taking the leap of faith with you or some kind of risky kind of decision in the situation. Let's clarify the fool. We have the ten of cups and the chariot and the eight of pentacles. Wow. This is someone who feels like putting in the effort and energy in this situation between you and them and making it a, a very beautiful kind of dynamic between you and them. It's like somebody feels like taking the, taking the risk of uh, coming together and putting in the effort and energy to make this situation work out as it was not working out in the past or at some point of time it used to be a very beautiful kind of dynamic and now they feel like... Uh, getting back to you and uh, making the dynamic beautiful again as it used to be at some point of time so taking the leap of faith with you or taking the risk of being with you again and creating some kind of magical improvements in your relationships okay this is what they feel about the situation if you guys were married at some point of time and they left you for something else or someone else they feel like coming back to you and putting the effort and energy in this in this particular marriage and if not, this person definitely feels like creating some kind of family kind of dynamic between you and them and taking the risk of being with you. Let's see uh, what do you feel about this particular person or situation. For some of you, it could be a, like a new person, new energy entering in your life, but they are coming out of a stressful phase. So they feel like putting in the effort and energy slowly and steadily and creating a very beautiful kind of connection. Now from your side, you feel like... Uh, the, Either you are feeling it's a toxic situation or you are already connected to somebody else or you are feeling like uh, you are kind of uh, being obsessed with the situation or the person. Let's, let's clarify the devil. We have the ten of wands, the justice and the seven of wands. Oh. So you are feeling like you are coming out of a very toxic phase of your life, very toxic cycle of your life. So you should better... Uh, take care of yourself and you should uh, create your boundaries and never let anybody to uh, like uh, skip those boundaries or walk over those boundaries so you're feeling like you should uh, let go of the people and the situations that not ma that's not matching you with, the, with your energies so even if somebody new is adding up in your life or even if somebody from your past is trying to come back to you you have strict boundaries that this is how it should be if it is not going to be like this bye because I'm coming out of a very stressful phase of my life, I cannot take this risk of being in an unhealthy kind of attachment or unhealthy kind of connection again. So you're just trying to protect yourself. Even if I do see a little bit of obsessiveness, obsessiveness from your side also of being with someone, but at the same time, you're taking the right decision of, you feel like taking the right decision of uh, not letting anything or anyone break your boundaries or walk over your boundaries for some reason. Yeah. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them? Oh. This person wants to get married to you. They want a happily ever after kind of dynamic between you and them. Yep. Long term partnership, commitment, if not marriage. Let's clarify the four of wands. They want to create a stable base. They want to create a very beautiful relationship between you guys so that you guys can enjoy the connection, enjoy the freedom, enjoy the happiness. We have the hanged man, the ace of pentacles, the judgment card. See, this person wants another chance with you. They want to give you this happily ever after kind of dynamic that they were not able to give you in the past. So their perception is changes. They want you to change your perspective towards them because they are no longer the same person as they used to be. They want you to think about them in a high respect, highly respectable manner where they are not the same bullshit energy. They are uh, like a healed person. They are a changed person and they can give you what you really want from them. They can provide you this happily hour after solid committed kind of base, solid committed kind of relationship. 
and they want did this is somebody definitely you had a connection with at some point of time and it didn't work out and now they want a second chance now they want a rebirth in a connection it's 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 kind of a dead situation where somebody wants the situation to start again not even not even starting again they want a happily ever after they want a very solid committed kind of relationship between you and them this is the situation that stopped working or you had a fallout you had a breakup and it's kind of dead buried in the dead now they are coming back with the bang and they want to marry you wow wow see this person is uh, now becoming st like uh, very stable in their life now they are becoming very independent in their life and now they want you back because they are ready okay i think this is somebody who was a commitment phobia or something in the past and now they want to provide something solid and committed to you because now they feel they are ready let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side uh, uh, leo page of pentacles you just want to keep this person as a friend or you just want to keep them in a friend zone kind of energy or you just want to keep this as a casual kind of uh, energy casual kind of friendship kind of dynamic let's clarify the page of pentacles We have the five of wands, the queen of cups and the tower. Yeah, you're suddenly realizing that you are the most important person for yourself. So you don't want to be a part of the drama that uh, that uh, you are coming out of. And it took you a lot of strength, a lot of courage to love yourself, to take care of yourself, to heal, to heal yourself from the drama. And now you don't want to repeat the same cycle again, even if you love this person or you're obsessed, low key obsessed with them. I don't want I don't uh, see you wanting that kind of drama again in your life. So you are just OK uh give me some time give me some space let me let's be just uh, friends and nothing more than that because this time you're choosing yourself your self-love your healing your peace everything about you yeah let's see what's coming towards you in love till the 17th of december leo temperance a lot of patience a lot of patience things coming together but a lot of patience is also going to be there not losing your temper not losing your shit or your mind wow being patient with the situation being patient with the whole dynamic and trying to balance a balance kind of situation let's clarify the temperance we have the king of swords the queen of wands and the six of wands you are going to get the proper clarity whether you want to be with this person or not whether you want to like uh, give them the relationship kind of dynamic or not and with patience you guys are going to move forward i don't see you saying yes or no to them actually but it's like you getting this clarity about what exactly you want from this particular person or situation whether you just want to be friends or you want to be in a casual kind of relationship or you just want to like say goodbye to them whatever it is you are going to be like patiently understanding what you want and then moving forward accordingly to be i don't see this happily ever after kind of dynamic this lovey-dovey kind of relationship between you and this particular person as of now but down the line i do see you giving them a chance and uh, things moving very fast between you guys in the coming future but as of now i do see you getting the clarity of what you really want from this person and moving accordingly slow and steady with a lot of patience because you still have emotions for them or you still care about them even if it is a new person new energy that's resurfacing in your life it's not a totally new person or totally new energy you knew this person already in the past uh, like uh, something happened maybe things didn't work out or you had a fallout or something like that maybe you, you were just friends or something now they're coming back in your life and now you are taking it slow and now you are in this energy of okay i know what i want and i'm going to i'm going to do exactly what i want or exactly what I know, uh, what I have to do in the situation. Let's see. Let's um, see the guidance for you guys, Leo, in the situation. We have the Nine of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Moon card. You're scared of love and relationship. You are scared of opening up to new people, new situations. You are very tense. You are not able to sleep at night thinking about love and relationship kind of dynamic. And it's creating a lot of chaos and a lot of stressful kind of energies within yourself. So it's it's better for you to understand if you are not ready don't be a part of this game if you are not ready don't be a part of love and relationship kind of game 
only if you feel like yes i'm ready to open up to new people new situation new connection in that manner then start going in that direction if not please be very very clear to the other person to the other energy that this is what i am in like this is where i am in my healing process or in my journey right now and if you are ready to be with me you have to like uh, be patient with me you have to be like this with me if not you can move ahead don't keep anything or anyone stuck because you are not ready or you are not sure or you are not feeling comfortable with the, with them so it's it's being clear with yourself plus being clear with the other energy okay because this is how mature people and adult people should uh, deal with this kind of situations so thank you so much for tuning in leo i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste